So this is a painting of Digit in Yellowstone. And it comes from the book, There Once Was a Kitty Who Traveled. And she actually did come with us to Yellowstone. She also traveled with us to Grand Canyon, to Devil's Tower. She went into Montana with us. Uh, we went to, um, let's see, the Crazy Horse Monument that's being created. We have a picture of her in the foreground, and here's the great big Crazy Horse Monument in the background. <laughs> um, of course, she was at, uh, uh, let's see, Mount Rushmore. She also went with us to Little Bighorn, which was very solemn. Um, but she was a good kitty everywhere she went. We took her to the Lake of the Ozarks several times. We had family that had property there, and we took her there several times, and she uh, drove through tornadoes with us a couple times, uh, big storms. But once we went uh, right on the verge of a tornado, and um, it was quite an event, and I think I've told you about that before. But she went with us all kinds of places. She went with us down to Tucson, you know, through, let's see, uh, Truth or Consequences in New Mexico, um, and then we drove all the way through there and went on down to Tucson to visit family down there. So she kind of got around and uh, she did really well. She was really funny. She'd sit on my lap and she'd put her paws up on the on the dash and just watch everything go by. Or she'd stand on the side and, and if we didn't have the windows locked, sometimes she'd hit that automatic window button. The button would go down and we'd have to push it back up really quick um, because we didn't want her flying out the window. But... Um, she was such a hoot, and she loved uh, she loved traveling. And then when it got stormy or she got scared, we had this uh, big red blanket, and I just put it on my lap like a like a big nest, and we called it a wooby, and we just put her inside there, and she'd she'd uh, hunker down in there, or we put her in the cat carrier, which was in the back seat, and we had it all strapped in with a seat belt and had a towel in there, so she'd be uh, real comfortable in there, and we'd shut the shut the little door on it in her little cat carrier, so she'd. She just traveled real well. Wherever she went, um, she was just she was just really funny. And so <laughs> I always wanted to create a children's book or some kind of an online, uh, maybe even a Facebook page about all of her travels, and it turned into a book. And now it's two books, and I'm in the process of creating the third book now, uh, which will be about uh, digit loving art. It will be, um, there's a, uh, what is it? Let's see, there once was an art-loving kitty. And so it's about her going to different museums and how she really truly gets into her art. And I'll show you one of the, the first painting that I've done for that. And it's a painting of Mona and Digit's hanging out there with her right here. Can't get the light off of there so you can see it. So she really gets into the art. And so that way kids can kind of have fun with Digit traveling with her to different galleries and to different places of where she can be a part of um, of the art and teach kids about those things because kids don't have art in schools anymore. Um, you have to take private lessons. And so this way they can learn a little bit. And as they travel the world, hopefully they'll get a chance to go to some of these galleries and see the real master's paintings and the real sculptures and things like that. And I will I'll do the best I can just to kind of portray some of it just to kind of give you an idea of what some of those things are and she'll um, she'll have a lot of fun with it I have some kind of some fun ideas coming up so whatever you're doing I really hope that uh, you're just having a good time being creative and uh, loving what you're doing uh, sharing it with people that you love and knowing full well just how amazing you are and how purposeful you are and how you important important you are for the world and so, just like Digit, everywhere you go, may you know that you are fabulous. And so, as Grandma used to say, love you bunches. Bye for now.